Hi, Charlie here. Nature is as tough and unforgiving as it is beautiful and amazing. At the end of the day, it's always the survival of the fittest. Over the years, more than 5 billion animal species have gone extinct. This includes many of the ancient creatures that dwelled our planet thousands or millions of years ago. But it turns out some of these creatures may still be alive with us today. Scientists have studied fossils and found out that some animals alive and well today have been around for millions of years. And because of various very convincing sightings, some animals we thought were extinct aren't. Frilled Shark for a long time, it was believed this species of shark had gone extinct. But in 2007, frilled sharks were discovered off the coast of Japan. These are most commonly found in Suruga Bay, Japan. It looks rather terrifying underwater. It has an eel-like body, but with the head of a shark. It is around 2 meters in length and is known for its dark brown color. It gets its name from its six pairs of gill slits. The frilled shark's eyes glow in the dark. But by far the scariest part about this animal is its teeth. The frilled shark has an excessive 300 trident-shaped teeth. These teeth are spread out over 25 rows, and its mouth is actually much larger than the average sharks. These sharks are highly endangered. There's almost none of them left in the world. But considering they've been around for so long, that's quite an achievement. They are considered living fossils. That's because they've been around for so long. Are you ready for the number? 80 million years on Earth. This is one species that simply won't die out. Woolly Mammoth it is said that woolly mammoths went extinct roughly 10,000 years ago, but based on various sightings and even fossil finds, many believe they're still around today. After all, there are large areas of Siberia which we have not explored, and scientifically that would be the most likely place woolly mammoths would be. Woolly mammoths are like gigantic furry elephants with tusks. Known for their gigantic size and weight, they were over 11 feet tall and weighed 7 tons. That is the weight of four medium-sized elephants. Woolly mammoths actually went extinct a lot sooner than we thought. You see, they went extinct on mainland 10,000 years ago, but they were still living on Wrangell Island in the Arctic Ocean only 4,000 years ago. And in 2012, a woolly mammoth sighting was recorded. The animal could be seen walking through this Siberian river. The person filming it did not want to get too close. They did not want to scare the animal away, and also they were worried about their own safety. Some said that this could be an elephant, but there are no wild elephants in Siberia. As late as 1948, frozen woolly mammoths have been found. But do you think some may still be alive in Siberia today? Nautilus This marine creature does not even look real. It is a mollusk and belongs to the Natilidae family. No, that's nothing to do with Nutella. These animals have been around for more than half a billion years. Its name means sailor because it's a great swimmer. It can live at incredibly deep depths down in the ocean. This is good because it means predators can't get to them. That is partly why they've survived on Earth for so long. These animals can be found in tropical waters all over the world. This includes the waters of Fiji, Andaman, and the Great Barrier Reef. Much like the frilled shark, Nautilus are also considered living fossils. Before we move on, make sure you guys do your good deed for the day and subscribe to Top 10s. Also press the notification bell too, it really helps me out. Beiji The Beiji is a suspected extinct animal, but in recent years, experts believe that this dolphin may have returned to the Yangtze River. This is the river they're native to in China. They are a kind of dolphin which used to be very common, but after the Three Gorges Dam was built, these went extinct. Or so that's what people thought. In 2006, Chinese environmental scientists said this animal had gone extinct, but just one year later in 2007, one of these animals was videotaped. A Chinese man recorded this animal swimming in the Yangtze River. Scientist and Beiji expert Wang Ding confirmed this was a real, authentic sighting. This led to a massive expedition to try and find more. Researchers traveled more than 2,200 miles, but sadly they did not see another Beiji. However, they only covered a very small percentage of the massive Yangtze River. This means that Beijis are likely still out there somewhere. The question is, will humans ever see them again before they really die out? Sturgeon 
Sturgeons are the oldest member of the bony fish family. They are more than 200 years old. They have fins which are very similar to that of sharks, and a very long, smooth body. They also have what's known as scoots. These are five rows of bony plates which serve as body armor. They range between 7 to 12 feet in length, and they can weigh up to 2,600 pounds. The largest sturgeon was captured in 1827. It was caught in Volga, Russia, but these sturgeons can also be found in North America. In fact, they are North America's largest freshwater fish. Black Leopard Black leopards look absolutely majestic, but sadly for more than 100 years we had believed they'd gone extinct. That was until 2019. A wildlife photographer named Will Barad Lucas caught these amazing images. He photographed this black leopard in Kenya, and this proved that the elusive black leopard was not extinct. For decades, Kenyans had shared rumors of black leopards wandering around at night, and sometimes scaring village locals. Many believed that this was just myths and hearsay, but it turns out it may have been true. Coelacanth Coelocanths are normally found near the Comoro Islands. This is off the east coast of Africa. They are very hard to see because they live so far down. They're typically found around 2,300 feet below the surface. These animals live for 60 years, but they've been around for more than 360 million years. Their average length is 6.5 feet, and they normally weigh around 200 pounds. Sponge no, I'm not talking about the thing you find in your kitchen. Sea sponges are actually very strange animals, and it's what SpongeBob is supposed to be. For many years, scientists believed sea sponges were 540 million years old. That's impressive already, but in July of 2021, Canadian geologists made an amazing find. They found 890 million year old sea sponges in ancient reefs. This means that sea sponges are nearly 1 billion years old. There's over 5,000 different species of sponges in the world. They're famous for not having any organs whatsoever. They're also pretty much immortal. That's because if part of their body is ever damaged, it simply grows back. Dead animals, scientists are going to revive. Did you know every year around 2,000 species of animals go extinct? Now, you may think that when these animals go extinct, you'll never see them again and they're gone for good. But thanks to modern science and technology, that's not exactly true. You see, biologists have developed a science known as de-extinction. This basically uses the DNA we have of extinct animals to bring them back to life. Now, whether you think bringing extinct animals back to life is a good thing or not is a different question, but it's pretty amazing that we can do this with today's technology. So let's take a look at some extinct animals that one day pretty soon may be roaming the world with us. Woolly Mammoth Despite the fact that no humans today have seen woolly mammoths, we all know what they look like. They're basically gigantic furry elephants with tusks. While there have been unconfirmed sightings of woolly mammoths in Siberia, science says they're extinct. Woolly mammoths have been extinct for a long time, but surprisingly not as long as we thought. For many years it was believed that they went extinct during the Ice Age, but it turns out that was only on mainland. It turns out that just 4,000 years ago, 1,000 woolly mammoths lived on Wrangell Island. This is a fairly small island in the Arctic Ocean. And scientists are using remains of woolly mammoths found on Wrangell Island to bring them back to life. Because woolly mammoths lived in cold climates, lots of their remains are intact. In fact, in 1997, a nine-year-old boy found a frozen woolly mammoth in Siberia. Now, of course, the woolly mammoth was not alive. But just like how some humans freeze themselves to preserve their body, that's exactly what's happened to the woolly mammoth. Scientists got a lot of very valuable information from this find. They were able to extract the woolly mammoth's DNA, and using things like stem cell technologies, they may be able to bring woolly mammoths back to life pretty soon. But would you guys really want these gigantic scary creatures roaming around? Humans did used to hunt woolly mammoths and eat them, but woolly mammoths would not be hunted without a fight, and many humans did actually perish trying to hunt woolly mammoths. But how would scientists actually use woolly mammoth DNA to bring them back? 
Well, they would likely use woolly mammoth DNA from frozen specimens. They would then merge this DNA with similar animals, such as elephants. This would create a hybrid woolly mammoth elephant animal. Using selective breeding, they would then be able to breed woolly mammoths out of extinction. That is the most common way de-extinction works. But how long will this actually take? According to Harvard researcher George Church, we could see woolly mammoths alive in a few years. It's pretty awesome that while humans do make some animals go extinct with hunting and climate change, we can bring some back. But do you think that this is ethical or is it playing God? Siberian Unicorn When I say the word unicorn, you likely think of a fantastical animal from a movie. But unicorns don't just exist in fairy tales, they used to actually be on this planet. However, they did not look like a majestic horse with a cone sticking out of its head. Instead, Siberian unicorns looked pretty scary. Siberian unicorns had one gigantic horn on their head. They also had a large hump on their back similar to a camel. They were gigantic and could crush pretty much any human. That's why humans always hunted them in big groups. They were alive thousands of years ago in the grasslands of Eurasia. Siberian unicorns went extinct around 200,000 years ago, but newly found bones suggest that some may have survived up until 40,000 years ago. Siberian unicorns weighed around 4 tons. The problem researchers had when bringing this animal back to life is that the DNA they had was too old. But in 2018, new technology finally allowed for Siberian unicorn DNA to be analyzed for the first time. But why exactly did Siberian unicorns go extinct? Although they did live at the same time as early humans, it was not our fault. It turns out Siberian unicorns were very picky eaters. They used to eat very tough, dry grasses. But over time, the climate changed and things got very cold. All of this grass was buried in a big blanket of snow. Other grass eaters adapted their diets to other vegetation that survived the snow. But Siberian unicorns did not, and they paid the price by going extinct. Well, it's likely they will merge Siberian unicorn DNA with rhino DNA. That's because rhinos are the most similar animals to them that we still have today. Thylacine The thylacine is also known as the Tasmanian tiger. It would actually be much easier than other animals to bring back the thylacine. That's because they went extinct fairly recently. And we also have the remains of the last thylacine on Earth. Thylacines are similar to wolves. They're known for their black stripes on their back and their long, stiff tail. They inhabited Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea. In the 1900s, there were still many of these in Tasmania. But that's when this animal was demonized and accused of eating sheep. Farmers and the government did not like this one bit. And they gave bounties out to anyone who would shoot thylacine. The last thylacine passed away in 1939. It was actually taken to an Australian zoo to be looked after. But that is the opposite of what happened. It was neglected in the zoo. The thylacine was locked out of its sheltered area where it slept. It was exposed to boiling heat in the day and freezing cold temperatures at night. Sadly, this caused the last remaining thylacine in the world to pass away. We have the complete thylacine genome today. A genome is basically the entire genetic instructions of an animal. This DNA could be mixed with wolves and breed thylacines back into existence. So, while humans did make this animal go extinct, we can right our wrongs. Just imagine how cool it would be to have a pet thylacine. Let me just jump in here and tell you guys that Top 10's merch is now available. Check the link in the description and comments to get these amazing designs. Dodo Dodo birds went extinct fairly recently. The birds lived on the island of Mauritius. They were famous for being rather dumb and also not being able to fly. An organization named Revive and Restore is working on bringing dodos back. The only problem is dodo DNA is very hard to find. But this all changed in 2016 thanks to Beth Shapiro. She is a researcher at the University of California. She was able to sequence the genome of the dodo bird. This was by sequencing the genome of the Nicomar pigeon. This is the dodo's closest living relative. Sabertooth Tiger Everyone knows the Sabertooth Tiger from the Ice Age movies. 
They were like tigers we have today, but with two gigantic fangs. They also lived in snowy environments. During the Pleistocene era, these were found in North and South America, but they went extinct around 10,000 years ago. This was because of climates changing. Also, lots of their prey went extinct, and humans also hunted saber-toothed tigers for their meat. But thanks to saber-toothed tiger remains frozen in ice, we can bring them back. Despite the name, they are not actually related to tigers. Instead, their closest living relatives are African lions. It's believed there are many undiscovered saber-toothed tiger remains frozen in Siberia today. If we can find these, then they'll be brought back even quicker. But some say there aren't any benefits to bringing this animal back. After all, they are gigantic in size, and if they were out in the wild, saber-toothed tigers would be very dangerous to humans. Giant Elk The giant elk, also known as the Irish elk, went extinct around 13,000 years ago. They were mainly found in Eurasia and Northern Africa, but many of their remains have also been found in Ireland. The most similar living relative of this animal are reindeer. Using giant elk DNA and a deer embryo, they could bring back the giant elk. Moa Like the dodo, the moa is another extinct flightless bird. These were very gigantic, weighing 510 pounds. They went extinct fairly recently in the 1600s. They used to inhabit New Zealand, but they went extinct thanks to humans hunting them for their meat. But researchers at Harvard University have been able to reassemble the moa's genome, and in 2018, DNA was extracted from a toe bone of a moa. So soon we may see these gigantic birds roaming around with us. Their closest living relatives are emus and kiwis. These birds are still alive today, so we may be able to bring the moa back quite quickly. They would take DNA from a museum specimen of a moa and then put that into the egg of a living kiwi or emu. While humans definitely have done some damage and have made some animals go extinct, it seems that with science we can right our wrongs and bring some back. Although there is lots of debate in the scientific community about whether this is a good idea or not. Some say this is amazing that we can bring back extinct animals. But others say that while it is cool, it is also playing God. Some say nature simply has to take its course and some animals simply just have to die out. Animals that came back from extinction. This animal is not supposed to be alive. Welcome back, Charlie here. You probably think that if an animal goes extinct, the species is gone forever. But here are some animals who came back from extinction. Be warned though, some of these are so scary, you may wish they stayed extinct. First, we have to look at the New Guinea singing dog. Right now, you are looking at the most ancient living dog. This dog species is hundreds of thousands of years old. The dog has been feared extinct for more than 50 years, but thankfully this dog was rediscovered in the forests and highlands of New Guinea. In the 1970s, one scientist said these dogs had definitely gone extinct. It was only in 2022 that they were found once again. Cameras documented at least 15 of these wild dogs in the highlands. This included males, females, and cubs. They were found on Punkak Jaya. That's one of the largest and most isolated mountains in New Guinea. It's almost like these dogs were hiding from us humans. They're famous for their very unique singing. Their howl does not sound scary at all. It's very high-pitched and sounds like singing. Between 2005 and 2012, there had been sightings of these dogs, but none had been confirmed nor caught on camera. Thankfully, we now have evidence that these dogs are alive and well. Next, we have to look at the Pygmy Tarsia. This is one of the most bizarre looking animals you'll see in your life. These are found in Indonesia, and are the smallest primate species in the whole country. Pygmy tarsiers are about the size of a small mouse. They measure 4 inches and weigh around 2 pounds. 
Their wide eyes and big ears make them look very cute. Since 1920, scientists believed this animal was extinct. But 80 years later, in 2000, a scientist went to Indonesia. They wanted to confirm the pygmy tarsier was totally extinct. But to their surprise, they found a live pygmy tarsier. Many other scientists had come before him, but they all failed. It's unknown how many of these exist in the wild. That's why they're still said to be very endangered. But in recent years, some have been caught on camera. And right now, scientists are working on finding more of them. Now we have to look at the Smilodon. This is one of the scariest extinct animals I've ever seen. Smilodons are very vicious creatures. They were known for hunting and eating thick-skinned prey. This includes bison, horses, and macedons. Smilodons had very short but strong legs. This meant they weren't fast, but they could jump very far. They also had gigantic saber-like teeth. This would be enough to put an end to any prey. A few years back, this Smilodon was seen in Los Angeles. Many believed it to be real, but it turned out to be a very realistic puppet. But don't relax just yet. In the near future, Smilodons may be brought back to life. Although they went extinct around 11,000 years ago, we do have lots of their remains. This includes their fur, their bones, and even their stem cells. It's believed using cloning technology, scientists could bring these back to life. Tell me, would it be cool to have a Smilodon as a pet? Or would you find that just a bit too scary? Moving on, let's look at the Chacoan Peccary. The Chacoan Peccary was one of the largest mammals in South America. In the 1930s, these were discovered thanks to fossils. No one imagined they could still be around today, so they were declared extinct. But in the 1970s, a zoologist found one. Chacoan Peccaries are rarely seen by humans. They hang out in the most dense areas of the jungle, hence their nickname, Pigs from Green Hell. They also have to walk through thorny plants in the jungle, and because of this, over many years, they've developed very thick skin. To this day, they're very rare, and you'll never see one in your life unless you go and look. But they do still live in Paraguay, Bolivia, and Argentina. Now let's look at the Hispanolian Solenodon. That name is quite the mouthful. These tiny creatures look very cute and kind of weird. Some describe them as a mix between a mouse and a pig. For many years, they were declared extinct, but they can actually be found in Cuba, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. They were only found recently by a Dominican zoologist. But even if these look cute, do not go anywhere near them. Hispanolian Selenodons are one of the very few venomous mammals. They can spit venom from their mouth. They do this to take the life of their prey. Their venom can kill an animal as big as a chicken, and even other Hispanolian Selenodons. These animals sometimes get into fights with one another, and oftentimes only one of them makes it out alive. Now let's go underwater and look at the Colacanth. Colacanths became extinct in the late Jurassic period. That's around 145 million years ago. But remember, 95% of our oceans are unexplored. So everyone assumed they'd gone extinct. But in 1938 off the coast of South Africa, one was caught. You can actually see this today in the East London Museum. Today the fish is stuffed, but scientists have analyzed it and confirmed it really is a colacanth. It's amazing to think this same species was around 145 million years ago. Moving on, let's look at the Madagascar Serpent Eagle. This large eagle can only be found in Madagascar. It's one of the most endangered birds in the world. They hide out in the rainforest, going after very big prey. For many years, these were said to be extinct. But in 1993, a researcher found one. The scientist was walking in the forest of northeastern Madagascar. That's when he saw the presumed extinct bird eating a snake. This was the first time this bird had been seen in over 60 years. It's believed there's only 120 of these birds left on Earth today. So while they're not yet extinct, they may go extinct within your lifetime. Moving on, let's look at one of the most majestic animals assumed to be extinct. This is the Caspian Horse. These are one of the oldest horse breeds in the world. They can date back to 3000 BC. For more than 1000 years, the Caspian Horse was thought to be extinct. That was until it was rediscovered in 1965. 
They were found by an American researcher in Iran. To this day, Iran is the country with the highest population of Caspian horses. It's a good thing this majestic animal is still with us today. Finally, we have to look at the woolly mammoth. The woolly mammoth is basically a gigantic elephant with tusks. They went extinct around 10,000 years ago. Now, there have been some unconfirmed sightings in Siberia, but according to the science, these guys are extinct. For many years, it was thought they went extinct during the Ice Age, but recently woolly mammoth remains have been found on Wrangell Island. It's believed these woolly mammoths were around only 4,000 years ago. It's believed there were over 1,000 woolly mammoths living on this island. Today, scientists are using woolly mammoth remains to try and bring them back to life. Because because they lived in cold climates, woolly mammoth remains are intact. Most recently, in 1997, a boy found a frozen woolly mammoth in Siberia. These woolly mammoths are kept intact naturally thanks to ice. By using things like stem cell technology, we may soon be able to bring woolly mammoths out of extinction and back to life. Just imagine seeing these roaming around your city. Terrifying animals you will be happy are extinct. Did you know that every year nearly 55,000 species of animals go extinct? That's nearly 150 species per day. Now, of course, that is sad. But there are some animals that I'm sure you will be glad are no longer around today. That is because they were simply too scary, powerful, and aggressive. And if they were around today, they would wipe out everything and everyone that went near them. So let's look at some terrifying animals you will be glad are extinct. Stick around to the end to see the animal that people are most happy is not around today. Gigantopithecus Apes are very scary and powerful. In zoos, if apes ever escape, then they are not tranquilized. Instead, they are shot immediately because they can be so dangerous to humans. But modern apes are nothing compared to the Gigantopithecus. The Gigantopithecus is the largest ape that ever lived. This species went extinct around 100,000 years ago. This animal makes Bigfoot look like a cuddly pet. Gigantopithecus were about 10 feet tall and weighed 1,100 pounds. Even the most strong humans at the time would have been easy prey for the Gigantopithecus. These animals lived in the tropical forests of China for 9 million years. But although their gigantic stature was what made them so scary, it was also their downfall. The food sources in its environment rapidly changed. This meant that it could not eat enough to survive. That's because being such a gigantic animal, it required a lot of food. So its gigantic size is actually what caused this animal to go extinct. I guess bigger does not always equal better. Okay, maybe I'm just trying to make myself feel better. Chinese Dragon are dragons real? Some people view dragons as mythical creatures that aren't real. But in 2017, a 60-foot skeleton was found in China, and this led many to believe that dragons used to exist in the area. The skeleton was found in Zhangjiakou City in northern China. The skeleton had a long spine, two small arms, and a large skull. Many of the residents said it's a perfect match of the legend beast. You see, it's been rumored for centuries that a dragon used to live in this area. All of the villagers watched this dragon in amazement. But it's not exactly known what species of animal this is. Either way, it's a good thing this dragon is no longer alive today. If dragons were alive today, then they would likely do untold damage to cities and towns everywhere they went. Andrew Sarkis the name of this extinct animal leads many to believe that it's a dinosaur. But it's not a dinosaur at all. In fact, it's a mammal. The Androsarchus lived during the Middle Eocene Epoch, and it lived in what is today Mongolia. According to scientists, the Androsarchus had a similar diet to a Velociraptor. This meant that it was very fierce and ate almost anything. But it especially loved to eat meat. And there's no doubt that if it was alive today, it would love to eat humans. Their most similar relative today are goats and sheep, which ironically do not eat meat, but are eaten by humans. Andrew Circus are known for their gigantic and strong mouths. Their razor-sharp teeth and jaw muscles would be enough to bite your arm clean off. 
But thankfully nature worked out pretty well and these scary animals are no longer around today. Make sure that I don't go extinct by subscribing and pressing the notification bell too. It really does help me out. Mega Piranha If you thought piranhas were scary, then you ain't seen nothing yet. Regular piranhas are very dangerous to humans and will eat you very quickly. But in the past, there used to be something much more scary dwelling in Earth's waters. Meet the Mega Piranha. Mega Piranhas were 70 to 130 centimeters long. They were found in the late Miocene period in waters in what is today considered Argentina. Scientists have found the teeth of Mega Piranhas, and they're very scary. Some parts of the Mega Piranha's body is actually a mystery to this day. That's because many of the fossils we found have been incomplete. But what we do know is Mega Piranhas were very scary. And if they were around today, then you might think twice about swimming in the sea. Helicoprion you may think that when it comes to underwater animals, you can't find anything more scary than a shark. Well, what about a shark with a buzzsaw in its mouth? That is effectively what the Helicoprion is. The Helicoprion is an extinct species of shark. But what made this animal so uniquely terrifying is that it had a circular saw in its lower jaw. This animal lived 290 million years ago, and it was incredibly tough surviving a mass extinction event. But 240 million years ago, these went extinct. Just imagine if these things were still in our seas today. I don't think I would ever set foot in the sea or on a boat. The circular buzzsaw in its mouth was made up of very sharp teeth. And the animal itself was also massive at around 13 feet long. Titanoboa Are you scared of snakes? Well, after seeing this creature, even the most scary snake will look pretty innocent. Well, after seeing the Titanoboa, even the most scary snakes we have today will seem pretty innocent. The Titanoboa was the largest and most terrifying snake to ever live. The Titanoboa mainly ate a diet of crocodiles, and it would sometimes eat these in just one bite. These lived around 60 million years ago in the waters of the tropics. They were very large at around 40 feet in length. They would normally hunt their prey by constricting them. They would use their massive bodies and weight to suffocate their prey. After all, Titanoboas weighed around 2,500 pounds. That is one heavy animal. It's a good thing these guys went extinct, otherwise they would likely wipe out large areas of human life. Any small settlement or village near warm water where these things lived would be eaten. There's no way even an entire village of humans could take one of these things out. Their skin was simply too thick to pierce, and they would also move incredibly fast. Caprosuchus Many say that the Caprosuchus is like a hybrid of a T-Rex and a crocodile. Yep, a very scary animal from the past and one from the present to make this terrifying creature. The Caprosuchus looks very much like a crocodile but with legs. These muscular and long legs mean that they could run very fast. No human would be able to outrun this animal. Its name literally means boar croc. That's because it has the body of a crocodile, but the speed of a wild boar. It went extinct during a mass extinction around 66 million years ago, but it lived in the late Cretaceous era. Camaroceros Camaroceros may look like some kind of mythical being or monster, but it's actually a real animal that did live on planet Earth. This creature was very similar to the Kraken. It was around 12 meters in length, and it was alive during the Ordovician period around 470 million years ago. This thing had gigantic tentacles that it would use to catch its prey. They would wrap their prey up in their tentacles and constrict it. Of course, if they ran into a human, then they would do that to us too. But thankfully, these things went extinct a long time ago. Otherwise, they would make the ocean even more scary than it already is. Megalodon Now it's time for the animal that people are most glad is no longer around. At least as far as we know. You see, there is some debate as to whether Megalodons are actually extinct or not. 
Megalodons make fictional sharks like Jaws or the Sharknado sharks look like babies. Megalodons were about 50 feet long and just one of their teeth was the size of a human being. Megalodons lived for 14 million years, consuming massive amounts of ocean life. Officially, they went extinct 2.5 million years ago, but some believe that Megalodons are still alive today. After all, we've only explored 5% of the Earth's oceans. That means Megalodons could live in the remaining 95%. There have been many sightings that people say are Megalodons, but we have not been able to confirm these sightings yet. If these guys are still around, then I'm glad that Megalodons aren't on any beaches that humans go to. They can eat an entire great white shark like you're eating a french fry. So imagine how easily they would eat humans. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment down below which is the most scary animal you are glad is extinct. <laughs>